modifying a route in base camp. Base camp. Base camp. Right. Base camp 4.7.4. This is going to be a an attempt to show a Google Maps-ish like way of modifying a route that you can send to your Nuvi or DriveSmart if it supports uh, if it has a trip planner if it supports custom routes. So let's find some stuff first. National Video Game Museum. Okay, let's add that to the list, and let us also, uh, okay, right around here, I think, yeah, try there, Duncan, yep, that one, okay, click, press and hold shift, click, no, that's not what I want. Click that one first. I want to go from here to there. Click that one first. Press and hold shift. Press that. Right click. Create route using selected waypoints. Okay. Now we have this. And I want to change it. But I want to do a kind of drag and drop style. And by the way, even after I show you this, hang on till the end of the video because there's information you need to know should you send this over to your Nuvi or DriveSmart. Okay, anyway. So let us just say I don't want to go this way. Oh, did it put it in the wrong order? I think it did. Duncan 2. No. Alright, can I change it around? Yeah. I want that one first. Recalculate. Okay. That's better. Okay. National to Duncan. That's what I want. Okay. Anyway. So let's just say instead of going this way, I want to take this road right here, which is Lebanon. Okay. Now the way to do this, it's weird, but base camp is weird. It's just the way it is. Tools. Insert. Now see the little pencil thing here? Now I have this up here, but in case you don't, you can go to Tools and then Insert. Now if I try to just click on a spot, nothing happens, but if I hover over the route, I may have to come back here for you to see. There we go. See that? That's the line from A to B. Let me just back up a little bit so you can... Yeah. See, that's the direct point, but anyway even if you don't see it. You can see it up here, but anyway, look, where's Lebanon? Right there. Okay. So if I click on the route, ah, here we go. Here we go. And I click, I think this is the correct side of the road. Let's go inward a bit here. There we go. And it recalculated. And then what I do is I press escape. Get rid of the line. And then I go tool pan and I can pan over again. Ah, okay. Let's just say I wanted to continue here. So tools, insert, hover over. Now it's doing it for my last point. So I want to make sure that I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back west. I want to keep going east. So click. Okay. And I want to go here. There we go. And escape tools pan right let's just say I'm happy with this at this point I can go and if I plugged in a new or drive smart I could right click and send to and then send it to the new or drive smart and yes it would work maybe maybe okay here are the things to bear in mind and this is what I was alluding to earlier First of all, it's going to send these two waypoints to your new or drive smart, in addition to the route itself, which will be in the trip planner, maybe, depending on which model you have. I can't 
peg this to a specific model. But you may have to reboot your Nuvi or DriveSmart two or three times before you actually see the route show up in your Nuvi or DriveSmart. For example, I did this on the Drive 52 just to test it out. And I know I sent it, and it's not there. It's like, oh, what's going on? And then I restarted it, and, and oh, there it is. Woo! And it showed up, and it worked. Okay, fine. But then I noticed that it dropped these two waypoints, favorites, into the list. And they had to be there in order for this to work. Now, while I'm sure there's probably another way to do this, at least this is something. At least it's something where I can just go to the tool. Well, I gotta highlight the route first and then go to tools and then insert and hover over the route and click where the last point is and say, okay, uh, go up here, please. And oh, nope, that one didn't quite work out. So escape, undo, okay, try it again. Let's try here. <laughs> that didn't quite work out. It's okay. Undo. Thank you. As you can see, just like Google Maps, sometimes that screws up too. And you gotta click around. Now, the only thing that you can't do is you can't like click and drag the route like in Google Maps. I couldn't find a way to do it. This is the base camp way of doing it, but hey, at least it's doable. At least this is doable. And it works. All right. So I was able to make a custom route and I was able to make my modifications with the mouse instead of having to go in here and manually put all the uh, roads here by coordinates and all this other stuff, I was able to get a point A and a point B, make some modifications, I can send it over, and whether it recognizes it by the unit or not may take a few reboots. <laughs> and it works. Yes, it works. So, uh, this is one of those things where I have to say, your mileage may vary on how well or not well this works for you, but it's how to do it.